What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We've been talking about Scream 7 mostly in this video here today and I'll also be sharing an update that I kind of overlooked. Well, not kind of. I did overlook this update regarding Chucky Season 3 and where Lexi, Devin, and Jake seem to stand in regards to the upcoming season and the fact that Chucky is going to the capital, uh, the nation's capital I should say, and also of course the possible return of Andy and Kyle. So firstly, starting off with Scream 7. Scream 7 we know will be directed by Christopher Landon signed on prior to the strikes, SAG and WGA, WGA, which is still ongoing, unfortunately. And we know that Radio Silence will be staying on as producers. Now, last week, there was a tidbit shared over on Production Weekly, where Production Weekly had listed that the working title for Scream 7 was Blackbird. It mentioned Montreal still as like kind of the location where it seemingly was going to be shot at or so we thought and that of course triggered the assumption that we would be sticking around in new york city and it also of course had the quarter one status indicating that filming would indeed be happening if everything panned out well with the strikes in the first half of the year however it would seem all of that has been removed from this latest update from Production Weekly and that the working title of Blackbird has actually been assigned into its own separate category apart from Scream 7 with the with the manager or I, I think he was the, the, the production manager production manager I might have it, the title wrong but the same person who was attached to Scream 6 is also attached to this separate title for Blackbird so it seems Blackbird is a separate project all on its own now and has nothing to do with Scream 7 which now raises a lot of questions Ghostface and their return to New York seems kind of up in the air now shooting in New York up in the air and of course obviously filming in quarter one up in the air not that it ne never was because again that was their tentative plan or so we've been told that would not happen though if these strikes are still ongoing because you have to secure your cash you have to get everything in order and why would you shoot in quarter one if you have not gotten all those things in order due to the fact that the strikes have still been ongoing and have no resolution in sight which again is very unfortunate so when it comes to what is happening with scream 7 I know that I have told you guys several different things, well, not several, I would say a, a small chunk of the list of things that I've been told about Scream 7, S many of which at the time I told you ended up being true that same week with Christopher Landon being attached to direct. He was asked to direct the project or was in talks to direct. Um, and of course, the fact that they, they expect all of the core four to be back into the mix. And then the Hollywood Reporter, several other outlets, big screen leaks and other reputable people came out backing up a lot of the things I was claiming in that initial video that I had dropped on Sunday that week when all of that stuff became official. So now with Production Weekly switching script and again, Production Weekly typically is very reliable. But again, you're not always going to be correct, even though you are reliable nine times out of ten. It would seem as though. Ghostface's return to New York is possibly unlikely, still a possibility, and also where they're filming at is not probably going to be where we thought they were going to be filming at. They could indeed be leaving Canada altogether, or it might just be in somewhere different from Montreal, Quebec area. I will say this, when I reached out to someone that I do trust and shared it with them, they kind of laughed at it. <laughs> so then I was like, uh, maybe there is some lack of truth to it. And then of course, Production Weekly changing it up this week makes me think, OK, OK, I'm more inclined to now believe that maybe we are not going to be shooting in Montreal. Maybe we are not going to be back in New York and maybe we're going to get a completely new scenery or pieces of scenery for the upcoming seven entry for Ghostface's return. However, I will say this. Yes, I have heard things about Neff's participation. I've heard things about jenna's participation and how she is being written this time around i've heard things about the time of year this movie will be set in i'm just not going to share that just yet because of the fact that everything is still up in the air everything could of course be proven wrong at some point or proven true by another point if the things that come out are what i was told about i will let you know but as of now i will say this the stuff i've heard about nev i think many of you would find it to be positive it's just all coming down to of course how it is executed the stuff i've heard about jenna 
I think I would be fine with this too. The stuff I've heard about the time of year. I would love this to be the time of year if it ends up being true. So I would say everything with Scream 7, just as it is with many projects right now, is just up in the air. We know that the core four are expected back, but we also know that things could change given the uncertainty surrounding these ongoing strikes. Ghostface, ultimately, I think, yes, will be back at some point in the very near future, I hope. But if there are no resolutions to these strikes, it can completely shake up the type of Scream 7 we inevitably do end up getting. Because we know Paramount at least wants to do the project. But who's to say that we couldn't get a very extreme case of restarting once again due to the ramifications of what's happening still with these strikes. But diving into the topic of Chucky Season 3. Chucky Season 3 we know got announced last week to be released this October on the 4th, I believe. And it was Chucky at a press conference answering questions, throwing jabs at what I think was Megan, jabs at Devin Sawa, and making comments about the fact that this isn't a movie, it's a TV show, and saying DC's going to get chucked up. And again, I will say the expectation right now is that only half of the season will air due to the fact that a crew member involved with the production did comment saying that they had only finished half of the season before the strikes had forced them to stop. So with that in mind, the other tidbit that I overlooked was the fact that Chucky season three is going to be having Lexi, Devin and Jake in the capital nation's capital of dc right along with chucky because in the plot details that came out from sci-fi it said after having escaped their new catholic school can jevin keep their relationship alive and best chucky once for all this time in the nation's capital so there it all th there it is right there that's all you need to know i guess lexi devin and jake will be of course as as many of us probably expected anyway will be joining chucky as he ventures out into DC to thwart whatever it is he has planned. I will say this about the Kyle and Andy thing. Underneath that announcement video on YouTube in the description, the cast does include Alex Vincent and Christina Lee as Andy Barkley and Kyle. So, will Andy and Kyle appear in season three? I'm not going to say I hope they do. I just, I will say this. If they do, I hope they are just used well. I think they've been used fine enough as it is but i don't want to keep seeing them over and over and over and over and over again just to try to stop chucky but then again also at the same time it kind of seems that that's what their mindset is they won't rest until they do stop chucky so it does make sense for them to appear i just really felt some type of way about that send-off that it seemed we were getting for them at the end of season two when they had left and it was flashing back to their exit at the end of child's play 2 i thought it was a great send-off for those two beloved characters that have been a part of this ip for so long but we'll just have to wait and see if those two beloved characters will indeed return in chucky season three let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video in the next video